Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to embed uh, an FLV uh, flash video file into a SWF, ultimately, flash video. And I'm going to create a little television set, and uh, we'll have the video kind of playing in the TV screen with some play, stop, and pause buttons that are kind of built into flash already. So to start off here, I've got my file. It's a action script uh, 3.0 new flash file. I've called it cyclocross.fla because that's the video clip that I'm going to be using. And I've got several layers. I've got an actions layer, TV controls, which is where the play, pause, and stop button will be, the basic TV set. The TV screen is going to be on its own layer, and that's ultimately going to be a mask, which will show the video, which is behind that. Um, well, let's go ahead and start off with a couple things here. Uh, I'm actually not going to start with actions and TV controls. I'm going to go to the TV set itself and frame one of that television set, and I'm going to see if we can't draw a television set relatively quickly here. I will use this uh, kind of blue color here, and let me get a stroke. Use my properties panel for square. And let me go ahead and put a stroke on there, and let me just go ahead and draw a few things. So, okay, so I've got a few basic shapes that I'm going to use to assemble my television set, and uh, of course you could. You could hand draw one of these or grab one as an image. I'm just going to go ahead and throw a few uh, portions here and there. Just kind of get this, just trying to get this television set looking eh, kind of cartoony, I suppose. Oops, let's get the whole thing on here. There we go, that's looking pretty TV, TV set-esque, and I've got a little t television screen right there, I'll stick that. I'm going to actually move it a little to the left, because I'll have some controls off here. So there's a TV set, and let's see, we need some, uh, let's put a rabbit ear antennas on there. How about if we use a oval tool with that same blue color? Do a rectangle tool. Just kind of creating these off to the side here to create a different image. There we go, got that going on. Stick that up right on the top. And we'll just give ourselves a uh, pencil tool. Use the straighten option bigger stroke and let's see I'll just oops let's make sure I get the right yep straight should be good there we go all right couple of little antenna there so that's my basic television set and I challenge everybody to try to draw a better one Okay, so got my TV set. Now my TV screen is actually going to be a separate mask. So what I'm going to do here on my television set layer, I'm going to use my selection tool and just make sure I can grab that uh, TV screen, which is currently white, and it doesn't really have to be white. I could change it out to um, you know, bright green, so that way we can say, okay, that's going to be my mask layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it from my TV set layer. So I can actually see through that, even though it doesn't seem like it. So the white is the stage behind the scene there. I'll go to my TV screen layer, and I'm going to do an Edit, Paste, and Place, and there it is. And then I can right-click and make this a mask. So that basically, the only thing that will be seen is going to be through that little screen layer. And then my video is going to be down here on this video layer, which is behind the TV screen. So my video is my masked layer, so to speak. Okay, so I need to go get a video too. Now, I actually do already have a video. I uh, recorded a little bit of footage from a cyclocross event uh, not too long ago, so I'm going to take care of that one. And to use it, I'm gonna, I want to convert it to an FLV file, so I'm going to go ahead and launch my uh, Adobe Media Encoder here. Alright, let me do an add. 
I'm going to go to my desktop and I've got a cyclocross folder already on here and there's the original video file it's in mp4 format so let me choose this one uh, I am going to go into the FLV or F4V format I'm going to do FLV and for my preset I'm doing FLV for flash 8 and higher that's fine and it's going to go to my cyclocross folder so let me just click add Oh, I'm sorry, I don't need to click Add again. Uh, it's going to go. Be, it's going to give it an FLV file, and I will just click Start Queue, and that's going to process down there. It should only take about a minute and a half, but I'm going to pause during that. Okay, my video is almost done converting, so I just wanted to show you what that looked like here. So this is my uh, Adobe Video Converter encoder, converting it to an FLV video file. Just about done. There we go. So that's taken care of. So I can, I can close out of this now. And let me head over to, let's go to my video layer and make sure these are unlocked for the moment. I'll go to my video layer frame one. I'm going to go to file, import. I'm going to import a video. Let's see, I'm ultimately going to be embedding an FLV file into an SWF. So let me do a browse, go to my cyclocross folder. There's my FLV video. That's the one I want to use and then I can just click the next option just off my recorder here. Embedded video, place big instance on stage, that sounds good. I will click uh, next and finish. Okay, so now I've got this video. Notice it's behind my television set here. Um, I've got this video and the length of the video is taking it out to just about 500 and looks like 59 frames. Okay. No problem. So that's my video. And by the way, if we were to check it out right now, let's see what we have. Okay. There's the video playing. Okay, but we're going to do a couple more things to this. Um, okay, so uh, I want this video to be much smaller. It's just really going to be just a bit bigger than my television screen. Of course, I might have to make my overall TV bigger first. So let's, in order to really more easily work with this, I'm going to go ahead and click on my video once. I'll do a text transform. And let me go ahead and using my shift key and one of these uh, sizing handles in the corner, let me just size this video a bit smaller. There we go. And I can come back and work with that. So. I'm going to, let me do a show all for a moment. Oh, I'll go back to show frame. And let me size my television here. So I'm going to lock down everything except my TV screen and my television set. And using my text transform tool, let me go ahead and select all of that. And let's see, I will. Uh, just go ahead and size this thing bigger. I really don't need to worry about proportions. In fact, maybe I'll make it a little taller there. Let's move it down in here. There we go. So now my TV screen or my television set's a lot bigger. So that looks a little bit nicer. And now let me go to my video file. Lock down the frames that I'm not using. And here's my video file. And I'm just going to kind of stick it just past the green television screen. You can just barely see it. I'm going to use this other control and I'm just going to position it just so it's a little bit bigger there. Alright. So that may work for us. Let me just scale this down. Kind of could be distorting my video a little bit but we'll see how that works. Now I also need to extend my other items here, my television screen, my controls, all these things need to be ultimately extended out. So let me go ahead and jump over to the end of my movie. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and select these two couple frames here. I'm gonna press F5, extend those out. Let's just see what things are looking like at the moment. There we go. So now we can see the video is in the television screen. Okay. So that part wasn't too bad. And got the television set created, got the video running behind the screen. Obviously, you could fine tune if necessary. So, what I want to do, and I think I'll push this off into the next video, is I want to create some controls to stop and play and pause the television show, the movie, the video clip, and then we'll be all done.